so first things first, I want to apologise for not posting last Friday. I had some stuff going on in my personal life and I'm very sorry for that. That I um, I did post on Twitter, so um, if you want updates for videos or schedule changes, I guess, um, Twitter is the place to find those as I can't post community posts at the moment. Um, so I'm not trying to plug my Twitter, it's just to let you guys know that um, most changes will be updated on there. Also, um, another thing, this video is about the Manson family and its members. Um, I did a previous video on the Mans on Charles Manson and the crimes he committed and also what the, fam the crimes that the family committed as well. Um, so you may want to go uh, watch that one first as it goes into more detail and this video will probably make a lot more sense if you watch that one first, so just to let you guys know. And with that we'll talk about the Manson family. So Leslie Van Outen, she was born in California in 1949. She was outgoing and athletic in her youth. She was the homecoming princess at her prom in high school. In the summer of 1968 she met Bobby and Gypsy and they both told her of Manson, who they described as Christ-like. In the fall, Van Outen was 19 and she began living at Spa and Ranch with the rest of the family. She was the youngest member of the Manson family at that time. She delivered 16 stab wounds to Rosemary LaBianca and she was sentenced to death in 1971. However, this was changed to life with parole after California abolished the death penalty. <clears throat> so as of 2016, she had 19 unsuccessful parole hearings and she is still in prison today. Jenny Brown, she was denied release um, and the board stated that she was an unreasonable risk to society and as of 2017, she tried to um, get parole again and it was denied. So she is also still in prison. So Bobby Busley, he played with many different bands after high school and he moved to San Francisco from LA where he met Kenneth Anger who was a filmmaker. So Bobby began composing music for a film that Anger was making and then after a falling out with Anger he met Manson in 1969. In prison, after being arrested for the family murders, he finished composing his music for Angus film and he was denied parole at every parole hearing uh, to date, so he is also still in prison. Paul Watkins, he was born in 1950. He met Manson at Topanga Canyon in the late 1960s. He became fascinated with Manson and the family picked him up and took him to Spahn Ranch. In late 1969, Watkins actually left the family and in early 1970, he testified against Manson. He died sadly in 1990 from leukemia. Catherine Cher, also known as Gypsy, she met Bobby in 1967 and they began dating. So she was not involved in the murders. She also saw Manson as Christ-like and she became a recruiter for the family and she recruited Linda Kasabian and Leslie Van Houten. So Catherine Cher and several others were arrested due to trying to dissuade a witness to testify against Manson in the trials. Um, so they tried to dissuade Barbara Hoyt, who we'll discuss a bit later. So Catherine Cher and Mary Brunner um, and others also took uh, 150 guns from a store and so the police showed up and there was a shootout and the police um, unfatally shot Brunner and the rest of the people that were there um, and arrested them and asked them why they had stolen 150 guns. So the group explained that they planned to hijack a passenger jet and stage a hostage crisis and demand the release of Manson. So Cher was arrested for five years and gave birth to a son. It was found that the father was actually Steve Grogan who was another family member. Um, she was released in 1975 and she has disassociated herself from the family and from Manson. She became a born again Christian. 
Mary Brunner, she met Charles when she was 21 years old. In 1968, she had Manson's son, Valentine Michael Manson. Manson and Brunner nicknamed uh, the child Pooh Bear. And Brunner and another family member were arrested for credit card fraud on the night of the Tate murders. Brunner was jailed until 1977 for the hijack plot and Susan Atkins as well. She met Charles in 1967. She was nicknamed Sadie Mae Glutz. She gave birth to a son at Spawn Ranch uh, and he was named Ziza Zos. Zodfrak Glutz. Don't, don't ask me because I have no idea. 1969, Brunner went to murder Hinman, Gary Hinman, and she also went to the Tate House murders. Mm. So in 1971, she was sentenced to death. Uh, however, again, this was changed to life due to the abolishment of uh, the death penalty in California. And in 2009, she died from brain cancer. Linda Kasabian, she joined the family in 1969. She was 20 years old. She went to the Tate residence. However, she didn't actually go inside and participate in the murders. Um, she said in a statement that she was still outside and she could hear the, the blood curdling screams from inside. And she was basically watching the horror unfold before her eyes. Um, so she actually became a main witness. She fled the family days after the Tate murders and became a main witness in the trials. Steve Grogan, he was involved in the Donald Shu murder. Um, he served less than 15 years before he was paroled, um, mostly because he showed authorities where she was buried which is uh, explained in more detail in the previous video. Patricia Kremvinkel, um, she helped in the Tate and LaBianca murders. So she was sentenced to death and again it was changed to life. Um, and that's about it with her really. She's still in prison today. Tex Watson, he participated in all the murders and was sentenced to death. Um, and again it was changed to life. Um, he became a born again Christian and he actually became an ordained minister. He is still in prison today, however he has been married and divorced in between and he has four children. He also has an autobiography called Will You Die For Me? Lynette Squeaky from, so her nickname was Squeaky from Manson, um, she remained loyal to Manson even through um, the Manson trials. So she would follow Manson every time he was moved to prison, which was a lot. Um, she would go and move to each town where he was. Um, in 1975, she actually pulled a pistol on President Gerald Ford and she was sentenced to life in prison. When she was sentenced to life in prison, From decided it would be a good idea to throw an apple at the prosecuting attorney and she actually knocked his glasses off his face. She escaped from prison to meet Manson, um, however she was caught and then she was imprisoned until 2008 when her parole was granted. Bruce Davis, he was involved in the she murder and he was imprisoned and denied parole. Sandra Good, she was arrested for credit card fraud with another family member. 1975, she was indicted for conspiracy to send threatening letters through mail with Susan Murphy. So they sent more than 300 letters to 170 corporate companies who they believed were polluting the earth. Sandra Good was arrested for 15 years and Murphy only received a sentence of five years. Barbara Hoyt, she was unsure as to whether to testify at the trial uh, against the family and Manson. So she was bribed by the family with an all expenses paid trip to Hawaii. So she travelled with Ruth Ann Morehouse, another family member, and Morehouse actually laced Hoyt's burger with a lethal dose of LSD. So Morehouse then flew back to California and Hoyt was treated in hospital in Hawaii and then her mother flew out to fly her back to California and then Hoyt had no qualms with testifying against the family. So she did it without hesitation, obviously, because she'd just nearly been poisoned by them, which is great. And that's it for today.
today guys so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up um, I will leave a link down in the description to a really good website with a lot of information on uh, Charles Manson and the family. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you next time.